Hey everyone, you already know who it is. It's Mr. Hines, and welcome to week four of Contemporary Literature. This week, I figured I'd try to make things a little bit easier by giving you a week at a glance video. Hopefully this answers some of the questions on what we're going to do this week. So to start, um, I always have my checklist uh, handy with me because it's a really good thing to keep in mind. But now that we've talked about that checklist, since you've You've probably seen it three times at least before. Let's actually talk about the work. So if you go to quarter one folder, and you'll see week four is the yellow folder within the yellow folder. If you click on that, you'll see everything you need to do this week, starting with the week four checklist. As always, if you ever have any questions or comments or concerns, you want to set up, set up a meeting so you can do the work with me or ask questions or just get some clarification, please click this link to set up a meeting. This will give you a one-on-one -on -one time, either in person or over Google Meet, that you can work with me to figure things out, okay? So, while we're in class, uh, we are going to focus on a couple of different things. It's a pretty big week, as you can tell, but it's going to be, uh, it's going to be adjusted by having kind of more laid-back weeks to come up. So to start, we have our part two discussion, and this discussion is going to look a little bit different, but for most people, what's going to happen is you have these discussion questions, you're going to fill them out yourself, I'll explain them in class. This is the grade if you'd like to see how the post-discussion uh, impacts your grade, okay? We are actually going to do the discussion on Tuesday, because I'm going to give you time on Monday uh, to look over those questions, or Friday and Thursday for the for the Thursday Friday learners. The other things that we need to do this week is while in class, we do we should be working on that no red ink ACT diagnostic. If you have not finished that, it's incredibly important that you do so that you can get ready for the ACT. Because the more the better you can do on the ACT, the more scholarship money you can get from colleges, and the more scholarship you, money you get from colleges the better, uh, the more, the less money you have to pay the colleges in general. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about our final project for Persepolis. Um, it's going to look like a graphic novel. I'll explain it in class. I'll give you the overview, and I will also give you this uh, planning worksheet, and I'll explain that in class, and you'll get about a work week to work on the worksheet, and then two weeks to work on the final project. Okay? So, other than that, You'll be reading part three of Persepolis, and then when you're finished with Persepolis at home, instead of doing a flip grid, you'll be doing this personal review, this Persepolis personal review. Okay, uh, it does say if not if not in class, distance only learner, but uh, everyone's going to be doing it, not just the students who are uh, distance only. That was my mistake. I'll get that typo fixed before you come to class. Okay, so that's what you're going to be doing outside of class. You'll also be finishing the ACT diagnostic and the, the pre-work for the personal narrative graphic novel. Other than that, uh, once we get back into class for week five, it'll start to be an easy couple of weeks. We'll kind of we'll give you plenty of time to finish that final project, and then we'll be uh, moving into our next unit. Hopefully this was pretty uh, this gave you some good information. As always, if you ever have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can send me a Schoology message, email me, or send me a text message via Google Voice. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I hope to see you guys in class, and as always, stay classy.